Today I'm going to show you how to weld aluminum without a TIG welder and without a spool welder using these Aluma weld rods from Harbor Freight. Stay tuned to the end and we'll see if this stuff works on other metals like steel. I'll be welding this aluminum angle to this flat stock aluminum. But first, I have to prepare my pieces. I'll bevel the edges of my angle to allow for the fill of the weld. Next, I'll use a wire wheel to clean all the aluminum surfaces that I'll be welding. Now I'll use alcohol to clean all my pieces to make sure there's no residue. That residue could interfere with my weld. The working temperature of these welding rods is just over 700 degrees, so I'll be using map gas today. All right, let's do a little 360 tour. Start on that side. Let's come around. It's still kind of hot, so I don't really want to touch it yet. There's the uh, back side. And we'll come around this side. The welds look pretty good, but let's let it cool down and we'll see just how strong it is. While the aluminum's over there cooling, let's try this product on some steel. I've got some 16 gauge steel and some square tubing. Let's use the same prep method and we'll see if it works on steel. Just like before, I'll use alcohol and I'll clean all the pieces. It's time to guess. Do you think this is even gonna work? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, the aluminum's had a chance to cool. Let's do a little strength test. You can see it's bending this piece, but the weld is holding pretty strong. As you can see, it mangled the aluminum, but the weld's still holding up pretty good. What about our steel? Let's take a look at that. It's the moment of truth for the steel. Aluma Weld is a fluxless, low temperature brazing rod for aluminum. Aluma Weld will join most aluminum alloys, zinc based alloys, pot metal, and white metal. Joints made with Aluma Weld are permanent, non corrosive, and stronger than the parent metal. So, no, it will not work on plain steel. Aluminum brazing rods, like these Aluma Weld rods, work great for braze welding aluminum. However, they do not work for steel. Check out this video where I use this same technique to build a table saw wing extension. I'm glad you watched and I hope you'll watch again. Let's get real close in there and take a good look at these welds all the way around. Kind of a, ouch, still kind of hot. 